So today we have a lovely piece of black burnished ware, so Roman pottery from a cooking pot. Uh, it gets its name from the colouring and also from the burnishing, although this shirt is not actually burnished. It, the, the rest of the pot may have had some burnishing on it, but um, it may have just been left quite coarse as this one is. So here is a replica of one that we have made, so you can kind of see the shape that it would be when it was complete. And you can see from the shirt, it's made from quite gritty, coarse clay. Hopefully the camera will focus on that and not on me. So the coarseness of the clay is ideal for a cooking pot because it helps to avoid the thermal shock that the, the pot will be put under when it is being used to cook. Of course, if you're putting it into a fire, although we found you don't actually need to put them into the fire, you can put coals around them, um, not actually touching the pot and it works very efficiently to cook with. But if you're putting the pot into that heat, the base of it, the coals are going to be sitting around the bottom here and the, this area will start to heat sooner than this area, which can cause cracking if, it, if the pot's not been made correctly. So this one's been made very, very coarse clay, um, as, as they often are. They're, they're kind of made, depending on where they, they come from, from the, the local clay. So you'll get different levels of grittiness. And I suspect equally the potters would have decided what they preferred to work with. So you do get different levels of grittiness with them. Cool black burnish wear, like I say, because of the blackening colour, which... Um, isn't from the clay, it is from the firing process. You can see the natural colour of the clay just in the centre there. Hopefully you're picking up that there's quite an orangey um, colour right in the centre and then it gets browner and then it goes to the black. The, the black is caused by a reduction of firing, so the kiln is starved of oxygen at the end, usually overstoked to create lots of smoke, so you've got lots of carbon in there and then the carbon reacts with the surface of the pot and is bound into the pot, giving you the black colouring. If you wanted to, you could actually refire this and return it to an orange colour. Obviously, we're not going to do that, but you could, and the carbon will come out the surface and you'll end up with an, the, the original orangey colour of the pot. So, black burnished where wasn't always burnished, which is confusing since the name suggests it would be. Um, and when it was burnished, it was often burnished in different ways and to different levels. So we've got two different variations that we do. This one, you can see that lovely sheen. It gives it a really sort of nice silky finish where it's been burnished. So it's been burnished at the bottom. It's been burnished at the top. And then this middle section has been left unburnished except for the lines that um, create the, the very, very distinctive pattern of black burnished um, cooking jars. So that's how the, the scoring has happened on this one. You also get ones where this one hasn't been so beautifully burnished. It's been burnished on, on the wheel, as is the other one. They do sometimes burnish them by hand. And you can see areas where it's just slightly missed the rings. And instead of having a unburnished surface with the scoring burnished, what they've done is they've burnished the whole pot and then they've scratched through the designs. So with both of them, you get that hash mark design, but slightly different treatments to get that design. On this shirt, you, we, there is no evidence of, of any of that design, but it is possible that it was in a section down here. So it is possible that it was burnished, but it wasn't necessarily burnished. But I think that's a lovely piece. And I, I like to imagine what it is that they've cooked in those, because we, we have cooked in ours um, stews and things. I have tried some Roman recipes. I'll be honest, I'm not such a fan. I find their balance of, of sweet and savory a little bit odd for my, my taste, but, um, but you know, nice to do. Um, and they are very efficient. So with a jar like this, what we found is you, you'll have your coals and you don't want many. You push them to the side and place the pot sort of on a heated stone with the coals not actually touching the pot. If the coals touch the pot, what quickly happens is the heat is very quickly transferred into the pot and it bubbles up and over and you get a lot of spillage. With the ones that I've used, because I've not been so good at it, the spillage comes out and you get um, very distinctive 
marks down the side where the contents of the pots dribble down. And I haven't seen that in an actual shirt, so I suspect that just means that the people who were cooking in them knew what they were doing, which um, would make sense, and I just don't. <laughs> um, but I, I do enjoy practicing. The thinness of the pot, I was talking about the liquids bubbling very quickly. The thinness of the pot allows the heat to go through the pot surface very, very quickly. Um, and that's why um, it'll heat up so quickly. So a lot of the, the, the heat goes very quickly through the, the, the thin um, pot and straight into the liquid that's inside. And you get that very, very fast bubbling action. But they, they are enjoyable to cook with. And uh, we, we don't recommend people use them to actually cook food to eat in. But we have eaten the food that's come out of it because it's our own fault if we get ourselves um, sick from food poisoning because we didn't clean it properly. Um, so it is a really enjoyable thing to cook with and the pot we've seasoned it prior to cooking with it so we put herbs and things herbed oils into the surface of the pot so that the pot retains that kind of smell and uh, the smell of the herbs and I don't know if it's true but it feels like when you cook with it subsequently there's a sort of a, an additional richness to the flavour that comes from having pre-seasoned it and cooked with it um, previously. So they're, they're fun things to use. So that is our Black Burnish cooking pot shirt that we were gifted. This one um, came from a Roman site in Northumberland, I'm told, um, but it was out of context. So therefore we can't tell you specifically where or what exactly it was used for. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.